I'm Jessica Minton for Ivy Times TV and today I'm joined by Linda Powers of Northwest Biotherapeutics and she's going to talk to us about her company not only has a better way to fight cancer but at a cheaper cost. Thank you so much for joining me. It's a pleasure to have you on the program. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So there's been headlines this week about a hundred different cancer specialists trying to challenge the way that pharmaceutical companies are charging high amounts for cancer drugs. Now, your company has a better way to do this. What is basically the process and how is it cheaper? So we think ours is better because based on the results in our clinical trials so far. And in those clinical trials, patients who received our treatment, which is an immune therapy, using the patient's own immune system to fight the cancer, our patients lived for several years longer than the standard of care with cancer drugs. And the way that we make it so that it's costing less is we've spent more than a decade developing manufacturing and in eight days, we make a big batch of doses personalized for that patient. And we make enough doses in one batch for more than three years of treatment. And then it's frozen in single doses. And after that, we just take it out of the freezer as needed. So that enables it to be much more economical. So it's a combination. We produce longer survival and we have lower costs. So there are two main versions of this, one for tumors that can be surgically removed and then another one for tumors that are inoperable. How exactly does that work? Because I heard that it was a shot instead of having to go through radiation. Well, today the patients do go through radiation okay. and chemo because while something new is considered still experimental, you have to give standard of care and give that on top of it. Eventually, it'll be the doctor's choice, and they won't necessarily have to give the chemo or the radiation. But <clears throat> the way it works is we need two ingredients, and we can get those two ingredients either in a situation where the tumor can be surgically removed or where it's inoperable. And here's how we do it. The immune cells we get through a blood draw, because your bone marrow is making them all the time and they circulate in your blood. So that's how we get the immune cells. That's ingredient number one. Ingredient number two is the biomarkers of the tumor that we want the immune system to attack. So for tumors that are surgically removed, they just take the tissue, drop it in a kit in the operating room, and send the kit to us. It's absolutely simple for the physicians. And then we use that to get the biomarkers at the manufacturing facility. For the other case, where the tumor is inoperable, we prepare the immune cells and activate them in a special way, secret sauce, and then we inject them directly into the tumor. And then they pick up the biomarkers on site in the tumor. And after that, it works the same way to mobilize the immune system. So it covers both situations. So basically, I would be using my immune system to fight this off. That's right, that's right. And your immune system is really powerful. People don't realize how powerful the immune system is. We know from other, other areas, such as an organ transplant, if we transplant an organ into you without turning off your immune system, your immune system is so powerful, it'll turn that tissue black within hours, not days or weeks, hours. So we want to harness that kind of power to fight the cancer. And what it turns out is that cancer has tricky ways of turning the immune system off or paralyzing it. And that's what our technology overcomes. What types of cancer have you tested so far through this new approach? So far, three different cancers, all very diverse from each other. So that's very encouraging because it gives us a glimpse that just as expected, the immune system will do this job in any cancer. So what we've done so far is primary brain cancer that starts in the brain and stays in the brain. That's the same type of cancer that killed Senator Ted Kennedy, unfortunately. We've also treated late-stage prostate cancer, and we've treated late-stage metastatic ovarian cancer, where the cancer was everywhere. And we've gotten very consistent results in diverse cancers like this. What other immune therapy programs are you working on right now and for in the future? Well, the one, the one that we're working on that's the furthest along is the immune therapy for tumors that can be surgically removed and where we use that tissue at the manufacturing site. And there what we're working on right now is brain cancer. And we've already done ovarian cancer, just a very small trial. The brain cancer is a big 
phase three trial, the last trial, right? So after that, we will do other cancers, but that's the one that's the farthest along. Now, the one that's the newest, that's about to start, is the trial for the inoperable tumors. And what's really extraordinary, and we're so grateful to the FDA, is that they've been very supportive and they've given us an extraordinary scope on that trial that we can proceed with that in all types of solid tumor cancer, so cancer anywhere in the body, for inoperable. Now, there's a lot of debate in the U.S. about the rising costs of health care. How will Obamacare affect this? Well, Obamacare is going to introduce co more cost sensitivity, like what's already been in Europe for a long time. And that's really good for technologies like ours, because our technology delivers tremendous value. It tr value in terms of longer survival and also lower price. Because of our special manufacturing approach, we're able to price the product below the kinds of price levels that you've seen on recent cancer drugs. And so Obamacare, I think, is going to accelerate concerns about cost benefit. And that, that's where our technology really shines. And finally, what is the time range where we'll be able to see consumers buy this? So we hope very soon. Of course, we can never, you know, preempt the regulators. The regulators have the final say so. The FDA has to be comfortable and say it's okay. But the program for tumors that can be surgically removed in brain cancer has already been in clinical trials for a decade and is nearing the end. That is expected to finish next year after a decade of development. So it's not far off in the future at all. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to join me on the program today. I can't wait to see how this develops in the future. Yes, thank you very much.